Next, Anglian Home Improvements, proud sponsors of this year's Ideal Home Show, an event attracting thousands packed with celebs, exhibitions and live demonstrations, showcasing the best of everything from furnishings to kitchens, bathrooms, conservatories and gardens. Anglian also sponsored drama on ITV3, but for a real horror show... Want to know more about a company? Read their website. According to Anglians, they're the UK's number one supplier of high-quality home improvements. Their service is second to none, their quality unbeatable, their attention to detail truly impressive. And with over 40 years in the game, they're still raising the standard. Wow, that is some build-up. I cannot wait to see some of their work. And nor can Barry. He has nearly 40 years' experience in the game. His attention to detail is truly impressive, and as a chartered surveyor, he likes to think he's raising the standard too. Isn't that right, Barry? I do my best, Chris. Hmm, modest too. Well, let's see what he'll make of Chris Hawthorne's conservatory. Anglian built and installed it four years ago. The cost, £14,000. The result, far from ideal. I first noticed last year that the conservatory is moving away from the house. The ridge had dropped by about three or four inches. We had specifically discussed at the design stage whether they would fit a tie bar, and I was reassured that no tie bar would be required. I went on to measure the footing depth, and this showed that the concrete was dug down to a depth of about 300 millimetres, um, and this is totally um, not what we'd agreed. So, Chris isn't impressed. What about Barry? This is structurally unstable. We need a minimum of a tie bar across the roof. What makes matters worse is that the foundation is totally inadequate. 300 millimetres is simply not deep enough. We've got shrinkable clay subsoil which moves with the seasons. We need a minimum of a metre depth. So we have a serious structural problem with this conservatory. Anglian have now agreed to take the structure down, install a tie bar and reinforce the foundations, but only after months of complaints and persuasion from Chris. Really, I just wish they'd built it properly in the first place. We introduced Barry to the problems faced by some more Anglian customers. Remember the company's famous impressive attention to detail? Well, this is Audrey Howie's £20,000 conservatory and this is the manky old fence post Anglian borrowed from her garden to build it. This is shocking. They've used an old piece of timber as an infill which will decay and leave a void and leave it structurally unsound. Anglian have since replaced the post, but Jane Costa's problems with the company have been going on for over two years. Water is coming in between the frame and the sash. Leaking doors and poor plaster work weren't really what she expected when she invited them into her home. You know, this is a very poor installation. It, it simply shouldn't leak. They've offered Jane additional work at reduced cost, but if I were Jane, I would be very wary about accepting it. Not much sign of Anglian's unbeatable quality there then. But what about one of their products which they claim is also the best on the market? Have a listen to this. Well, that's the sound of Anglian's energy-saving, thermal-efficient windows. These belong to Joe Paul, who bought them from Anglian in April 2009. The cost, £2,878. Anglian promised to make their windows as individual as you are, but Joe's simply didn't fit. Anglian said that the, there was nothing wrong with the windows, but they actually move in the wind. At high winds, the sound is ear-splitting. They are just not safe to open. They are dangerous. Barry? I'm on my way. That window there, it moves. Look at that. Can you have a look? Oh my god, that is a much. <laughs> it's fall out. I am really concerned about this window arrangement. The whole window flexes to a point where rain will come in when the wind blows. Look at it. I can feel the wind coming through here. A kid could do better than that. We've got another really, really serious problem. If we open the window, it is completely unrestricted. It can be opened to its fullest extent so that someone can easily fall out. They should have shown more professionalism in providing a design to suit the circumstances. Anglia say they're going to repair the windows. Am I going to be able to trust that? I don't really have a lot of faith with Anglian anymore. 
OK, Bo, you've had a good look at some of the work. Yeah. What do you think so far? Well, I think it's all pretty shocking, really. And they demonstrate a complete lack of care, um, poor workmanship, not something that I would expect in this trade. Yes, well, you say shocking. I don't think you know the meaning of the word until you've seen this. This is Fran Heaton's conservatory. It was built in July 2008 and it cost her £22,000. I'll open this door shut. Um, no, this one is stuck the roof slower than the, the bar. I don't really want to answer this next question. Uh, any other problems you've had in here? Um, yes, the uh, roof has leaked quite a lot. And also the plaster work, which was um, redone, oh is now goodness. all coming away. There are damp patches around the electricity sockets as well, which is obviously quite dangerous. Despite the fact Anglian came to patch up some of the work, the problems have continued. So what do you think of Anglian now? Just over a year ago, I actually it just gave up completely. I just resigned myself to the fact that this is what I've got. And what is that? It's um, a very expensive um, conservatory that just doesn't get used at all. Now here's Barry, what do you make of it? Well, it's a really shoddy structure. The conservatory is pulling away from the original building, the base is unstable, and the whole thing just needs to be taken down and start again. This is negligent on the part of Anglian Home Improvements, and I'm appalled by the quality. Appalled by the quality of what you've seen? So are we, Barry, and so are the customers we've met. So what about Anglian themselves? 